Hi guys and welcome to the Monday Morning Sidewalk. This is going to be one of those where there's going to be a lot more to read than there is to talk about. I, uh, a little under the weather and uh, been pretty busy at the same time uh, with my uh, photography of course and with um, out, being out there on Lake Ray Roberts trying to find fish for a couple of trips that were going to happen this week but I've had to put off. Because uh, there's uh, the X factor. The X factor is one of those factors that goes in, one of those variables where um, X being fish and there being no X, we have to kind of uh, push back and kind of recalculate and see what we can come up with as far as a strategy for actually seeing and catching fish. And three days of fishing last week, uh, it was really, uh, really difficult because of uh, what's happened. I kind of predicted this a while back with... Uh, all the uh, the growth that was growing where once there was water and now there's high brush up to six feet tall and that's kind of what we're trying to trudge through and get to these carp and at the same time these carp are, uh, are becoming a little more scarce so we're trying to figure that out but at the same time we do have a, a trip coming up to uh, Port O'Connor this week so my writing will be probably more present on the uh, website than the uh, uh, actual videos and things like that. We'll just have to see what we can do while we're over there in Porto. It's only a two day deal and it's going to be a real red eye in and red eye out because I have to be back for an event uh, on Saturday. So as you can see from this version or, or this issue of Monday Morning Sidewalk, um, we start to kind of lead off into talking about salt water and, and actually heavy salt water fly fishing. Um, and it will uh, start where all all things should start at the uh, at the fly and work its way back from there all the way through um, the rod and then uh, the reel. Um, I think it's going to be a fairly informative adventure on the on this uh, kind of approach from from the tip with the fly to the uh, to the reel. So be sure you read, not just watch. And I. Uh, have you know very little time this week but we're gonna we're gonna put things out as we find them and and maybe we can post on the road so I appreciate your watching and reading and uh, to give you a little little teaser of what's going on here's the flies that are being tied right now that's a I don't know how close that uh, camera can focus but this good old tarpon tub doing that and some colorful clousers also for the coast and and right now actually we're in my fly tying area so we pulled it in off of the uh, fly bar and, and inside uh, to get out of the uh, the steamy weather out there thanks for watching thanks for listening and as always if you have any comments questions you know you see something you don't like i want to hear about it and uh, i'm already hearing some things from folks that i've known for a while about uh, the paid subscriptions coming up but it's nothing to nothing to fear but fear itself when it comes to doing that. So feel free to take your time, uh, take some time this week. Go ahead and register on the site, and then things will slowly unravel and, and reveal themselves as the weeks go on. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.